Uh oh. He's on to you. I wish you would. So they actually like kind of move around in there, but in real time. So like, I wish you would just go somewhere else. Oh, yeah. he doesn't want to for some reason. <laughs> he won't leave. And I wish he would. So so they can only they only give you the the white area, the general area where they are. They I don't think so. Sometimes exactly you can where. speed them a little bit. You see the little dot. Wow. Well, okay. Whoops. Ah. Big fat load to come then. Big fat load to come. Pee pee and poo poo, wee wee and doo doo, I'm gonna shit my pants. Fill this bucket, we'll power doors with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit door, you gotta get the, the diarrhea to floor so they turn it on. Put on <laughs> shit in my pants, baby, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> If you were really good, I'm going to number two to <laughs> <laughs> number two me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of one of those things you just kind of fit whatever you can fit in there. Turn him it all in. Yeah. <laughs> but this kind of fits, just throw it in. Alright, this is probably where I want to be, maybe. It looks cool. Yeah, it's a cool little thing. I hate the hallway worms. Hallway worms, you ate them, I, I ate them. them. I'll honk my dick to them. I'm hogging that. This I'm hogging that foot all day, friend. <laughs> Fuck it, you honk while honking his foot. He does. <laughs> honking that foot. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it so much that he just fucking manifested a strip club about it. That was awesome. <laughs> Why, that wasn't him. That was the, um, that was like, they were trying to help them, like the the, the people in the afterlife. Oh. And like, they did that to, to distract him so they could fucking like, talk to the oh, people okay. he was fucking over. Yeah. And they were like, you shouldn't have summoned him. We told you not to do that shit. It's in the book. Wow, fuck me, I guess. What? Basically, wow. fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Did I ever tell you about that guy who was like just a little bit older than me back in like 2013? And he was like, hey, I'm gonna start a business and I want you to be part of it. Oh, yeah, you told us about that guy. And then I was like, all right. I'll, I'll bite. That might be good. I'm unemployed currently. Let's yeah. uh, let, let's let's uh, see what's up. We're gonna go to Denny's and talk about it. Sure, that sounds fine. And then we go there, and he's like, "All right, so what do you want the business to be at all?" <laughs> like, oh, uh, basically like computer and like like custom cases and basically like computer. <laughs> and the basically like computer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right. And then my favorite quote of the whole thing was, "I can't afford to pay you at first. Yeah, but once that's always. But once I do, you'll be making bank." <laughs> I, I had one of those. There was a dude who wanted me to write his movie for him, and like he like dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah, and like he, he wanted me to write his movie for him, and then like he said, like we would be able to like, get paid once we like send the festival and stuff and give him money. And I'm like, I know how film works, so I was like, that's probably as good as it'll get. So sure, <laughs> let's let's make this movie. And I'm like writing the script and stuff, and then like I sent him a couple things, and then he just kind of dropped up there. I think he just gave up. I think he didn't want to do it anymore. He just never talked to me again. And, I, and it was just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna get paid like at some mysterious point. Yeah, yeah, and. I was going to. I think I. I don't I remember if I sent him a contract. I sent him like some kind of basic ass contract, and I don't think he signed it, so. That was probably never gonna happen because I knew anything logistically about yeah. how this should work. I was like, you should probably sign this so I get paid. <laughs> yeah. That, that was like a real 20 something thing when we were. Growing up, like, well, that's what they do. It's like a gig economy. Like when you like are um, when you're in your twenties, especially for us at that time, yeah. it was very common for employers. The, the lie at the time then, because they have new lies now. 
yeah. lied then was go to school and we'll hire you. But then if you're going to school, they tell you we can't hire you because you're in school. And if you haven't gone to school, they can't hire you. Then when you get out of school, there's no jobs. Out and of then school, no, you have no experience. And there's, yeah, there's no experience or you have too much qualifications. Oh, yeah. And they won't hire you. Yeah. Or they can't afford to pay you that. Yeah. That was fucking stupid. Yep. The lie now is that nobody wants to work when it's just like, bitch, like, <laughs> hey, fuck off. Okay, first of all, you've made it way worse. Yeah, you made it so no one can work. It's actually, um... And, the... and you also made the conditions so bad. Also, for the kids at home watching, just look up Capital Strike, and you will understand what they're doing. <laughs> that is what it is. This enemy needs to, like, get the fuck out of the way I want to go. Please, please stop. I only have one butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I have but one butthole to give. My only regret. Re regret. regret. <laughs> my only regret. He's dead. It's having my one butthole, butthole to give to my... To give to the enemy. So go for my country. I'm gonna just reevaluate myself again. <laughs> hey, listen. If the Emmy decided to stop having a big needle in its face and said some fun stuff, then yeah. Yeah. If the Emmy is gonna slap my silly little butt, who yeah. am I, what am I gonna do? Yeah, slap my silly little butt with like maybe like a silicon needle instead. Sure. Let's not let's not be doing it with this big hard metal needle, dude. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Fuck. I am not supposed to be over here. <laughs> Okay, is there anything glowing yet? This whole dark area is where I gotta be, because that's, that's the thing. Mm. I gotta be in there. Ah. How is that gonna happen, though? Is it that door on North the Morph balls. There? Yeah, this one, but I don't have the gun for that yet. I see. And I don't have the morph ball, so I can't get in there. Okay. Some missiles I don't have. So it looks like you're in search of the morph ball now? Probably. It's either the morph ball or the, like, spacer. It's probably the spacer because I I think because the morph ball, ball is way too exclusive. Yeah, it's, I yeah. remember being pretty late. Um, this uh, maybe I should go all the way back because maybe I have to backtrack at this point because this this thing this game would make me do. Unless yeah. it's this door I need to go to. Maybe so many possibilities. What uh, let's put a marker down. It's your boy Ignazio, aka X, aka possibilities. Yeah, possibilities. No, I know about math. I took that remedial shit. I <laughs> took that remedial shit. <laughs> I know about it. That was some video from 2009 where the Mega 64 Rocco went to, uh, like, Tokyo Games Fest. He's like, yo, it's your boy, you know, the <laughs> OAK, take it. Oh, yeah, they did a bunch of those. I remember those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And like everyone's going like, no, don't bill me. He's like, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I still think my favorite Mega 64 thing they ever did was going to the Haunted Mansion as Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just, that was just one. And he was just like, no. And then turning on a real hand back of loud as fuck. I think my favorite still is the Resident Evil. What are you buying? Yeah, yeah, really yeah. One person tries to like, it's like a, a pizza, and it's like they like they're actually talking to him for some reason. Yeah, that's pizza they take home from the kids. What are you selling? Nothing. That's <laughs> just like this is wholesome. Yeah. For the kids. I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta be invisible to be in there. Oh, she didn't notice. He's like, oh, you just turned invisible. I saw you turn invisible. Doesn't count. No, oh, no, you didn't. No, I used my invisible powers. You can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, my stand makes me invisible. Oh yeah, well, my stand is a big gorilla. <laughs> my stand is a gorilla. Gorilla beats invisible, it's in the code book. 
Nowhere on that phone book does it say anything about invisible gorillas. <laughs> See you, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm, I'm cocked this up badly. Come on, get a good one of those. Yeah. Let me see if I can get rid of this guy. They are much easier to kill later when you get the gun that goes through walls. Um, oh, the wave? Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Dud. Dud. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's cool. Well, what Ooh. part of an energy tank? Oh. Hell you got yeah. a piece of heart? Yeah, they are piece of yeah. hearts, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just <laughs> like, we, we needed Zelda, but we needed side scroller. What do we do? Oh, oh Metroid. Put the Zelda inside it. <laughs> there we go. Now I can go back up there and get in there. Let's see. Stop spraying lava out of your hump. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to play. <laughs> Whoops. There you go, now a real E-Tank. <laughs> Dude, let me know what you're gonna do. You're gonna spray lava in my face, see? I told you you were gonna do that. That was a real pretty got fingered moment right there. You might have shot lava all up in my face, but I told you you were gonna, and then you did. Yeah. So really? So you're a sheep. I'm the winner. So, you're a sheep. so basically, you're a sheep. You do whatever anyone tells you. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, not enough damage. <laughs> Change the lava flow! It's every day, Bo, with that fire request to flow. Also, I like this one because you start, like, at the bottom and then you go up. And then you're here? Yeah, then you're up, then you're here. Oops, what am I doing? I think the worst thing about Drake is that he isn't one. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, he doesn't have any prehensile wings. Yeah, and he can't, like, he doesn't have, like, a big stinger. Yeah. Yeah. He does sometimes spray hot acid, but that's just because he has, like, acid reflux. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean... We all eat at RV sometimes, waka waka. He is a little bit... He is also pretty toxic, too, so... Yeah. He has some Drake-like traits. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he's got some aspects of the Drake. Yeah. yeah. That he casts every time he pops into it. <laughs> As, he's like, aspect of the Drake. He does like the Elden Ring pull, <laughs> like, like spell. It's a bioenergetic guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's what you name it. Drink your balls. You name the video bioenergetic guitar guitarist. <laughs> People, uh, you know what's really funny? Everybody gives 10 out of 10s, and then, like, a couple of really weird people were, like, giving it, like, 8s or 7s because of the just having cutscenes of them traveling. Oh, that, yeah. That's it. Yeah, but Super Metroid had that. Every Metroid did. Yeah. yeah. Like, every single one. And it's like, you gonna be mad about I mean, yeah, a loading I... screen? <laughs> like, <laughs> the game has loading screens. Why does it load? <laughs> Tell me why you load! <laughs> Give us a reason! Shut the fuck up, Darian. You're so weak! <laughs> I am the mattress, bitch. I'll eat your whole mattress. Eat your bed. I, I am a bed. Man. <laughs> it, it's so great. Sort of becoming a doctor. Like, like, they just eat another doctor. I forget. I, I forget about all that shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fucking mattress, bitch. Like, oh shit. That one's really good. There's just like years of history that are like, oh shit, oh, we God, must preserve. Yeah. Even if it's dumb as shit. <laughs> like the one you can preserve the most. Yeah, exactly. Like, the dumbest do... memories are the strongest. They are. <laughs> like when we went to come at three in the morning. Oh, yeah. And we were talking about eh, Angus, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> no, you're doing this fucking like weird, like bad Gaelic accent. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like. Oh, Angus, what a fucking pre. <laughs> oh. I was watching Game Grub compilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, this is gonna fucking pre. And then we went into Cub and we're just 
silently, randomly laughing. <laughs> and, like, it's like, God, <laughs> we look high as fuck. Oh, yeah, I seem very high. A lot of weed would have had to have been done to us. But, but not, it's, but no, no we we're just like this. We are just like that shit. <laughs> little, little metal Sonics being thrown at me. Oh, oh shit, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog, same universe confirmed. <laughs> Might as well be. Cheers. Yeah. Cannon is a fucking mess. Yeah. So. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it used to like have like decent cannons, then it just stopped. Yeah. It's like, it just had different people, and they're just trying to get through this one story. Yeah, they, they just really care about the shit. They don't really care about how it blends with anything else. The really hilarious thing about it is that fucking Bioware actually like condensed it all into one story. The, oh. it, it, so, like, Bioware made uh, the Sonic RPG Dark Brotherhood. Oh, okay. And, like, the thing that was interesting about that is they had a bunch of, like, artists from the comic book and shit do it. Not Ken Penders. And, <laughs> oh. and he actually is the reason why there's no more of those. Yeah, um, that's right. But they they actually condensed the story from, like, Sonic 1 all the way through, like, Shadow the Hedgehog and then also that game. And it, like, all made sense. If you read it, all of it makes sense. Nice. I was like, this is awesome. And that compendium is lost to time because it's in that game. <laughs> it's a DS game that not many people, like, cared to see. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! What if Hornets had like eight different needles that shoot out? Damn. It's like King Zing Sting. King Zing Sting. I forgot about that. Is that uh, Donkey Kong 2? Donkey Kong, yeah. My roommate started playing Donkey Kong. Oh, hell yeah. I fucking love Donkey Kong. And it sucks that we played them all. <laughs> There's more of them. Yeah, yeah, but I. They're, they're a little different, but. Yeah, they're, they're still good. Yeah. One of them's like one of the best platformers I've ever made, so. Nice. Is that Trap Freeze? Yeah, Trap Freeze. Sweet. Nice. That one's that I one's never, not that uh, never got around to that one. Yeah, they're good. Partly because it came out on the Wii U, and then I think they... I, I just... have a Wii U. I think it's on Switch. Yeah, th I think there was an updated, better version that they put out on Switch. Yeah, we can play those. You want to play more Donkey Kong? Yeah. I'd rather play that than Donkey Kong 64. I don't... <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I definitely I don't know. I, I feel like I could play Donkey Kong 64 a little bit every day, but not like... Yeah, I don't I, want to play it. I don't. I for more than like an hour. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's like kind of how I feel about like Dark Souls. Like, I do not want to stream Dark Souls or do it for the show really because, like, that's just a game I play for fun with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't want the pressure to perform on because I am gonna die a lot. Yeah. It's called the Prepare to Die Edition. <laughs> yeah. There's like some people who I just actually like... found the Prepare to Die Edition a little easier than the other one. But... Yeah. That's just me. <laughs> Did you play them both? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because <laughs> they're through the same game. <laughs> <laughs> They just say it's the Prepare to Die edition because it includes the DLCs. Oh. And you will oh, die in those DLCs. I never died. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I play a get uh, roguelike like mode, so. Ah, gotcha. You yeah. played hardcore mode. Do yeah. I need more upgrades? I think I do. What the fuck? Why did they let me come here? I thought I had to come here and, like, do some stuff. I kind of fucking... I don't have a fucking thing. God damn it. I also don't want to play Dark Souls or Elden Ring on stream because I don't want people to see that side of me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like the what, what I become. I don't <laughs> like who I am when I'm him. <laughs> I'm him. When I'm Dark Souls fat, Dark Souls fat is Dark the worst Souls. fat. That's like the true colors of fat coming out and you don't want to see it. <laughs> it's not scary because it's because I'm angry. It's scary because it's the truth. <laughs> 
because it's who I am and my base reptile brain, yeah. <laughs> and it scares me. <laughs> Another thing with like games like that though is like there's just people. People are just kind of buttheads about like when you play games like that. They, yeah, they like, expect everyone They're... to be like fucking masters of everything they like touch. Yeah, Sometimes you just want to play a game and like be hanging out with people. Yeah, and you're not there to like. And, and be even if the game is hard, it. like let let me let me do it bad. If, but you know like. Well, right. I mean, especially if it's like your first playthrough. Like, there's a lot of times I watch Blindsaw and people just get like shit, like shit on him because he's like not good at it the first time he plays it. I'm like, it's the first time he's played it. Yeah. There are games he's played many times that I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that game, well, like, here's the thing: is that you're like, if it's a game you know very well, you're gonna have that against anything you watch. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because you're gonna be like, no, do that, not that, because that's what I did. Network. Yeah. No, I get the back in gaming. It like comes out. And I totally get that. Yeah. But. It just like I just want people to like, I know I do it too. <laughs> right. I just there was a little bit more self awareness of those people. Oh yeah. yeah. Like they just were aware that they're that they're feeling that way and stop doing that shit. It just makes it no fun for anybody. Yeah. Ooh, a thing. Is this a grapple beam? If I could get it. No, it's not. That's the wide beam. Yep. I got the, that's the first, I got it way before the fucking the fucking thing. Hell yeah. Yep, it's a wide. The wide one. We always knew you were a wide one. You were one of the wide ones. In the wide, wide west. Wide. Wide. <laughs> wide. Yeah, I'm just wide, wide west. I was imagining a fucking cowboy just walking up and his like legs are way <laughs> stretched out. He's like, this cow ain't big enough for the both of us. Yeah, he keeps slapping my knees. <laughs> no, in uh, fucking Colin's Discord, like him and his sister and her husband got into an argument with their mom about what it would mean to have big legs. What? So they're long, <laughs> but not necessarily wide. And then Joe, Kelsey's husband, uh, fucking is big leg Joe now. And it's big leg, it's the big leg emo That's with why. The fucking super wide apart legs. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's a really funny argument to have. <laughs> hey beast man, welcome. Welcome to Beast Man. <laughs> Are you a lot like Gohan and you're going beast mode? <laughs> Gohan beast mode. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I just get one of the beast I think I just have to leave this place now. I think that's really what I gotta yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, you got, you got the I thing got, here. I got the thing I need. Turn that on. Yeah, I just gotta go. Now there are a bunch of other places open, but I haven't really been... You see, the thing is like, the first time I play games like this, I don't get the lay of the land all that well. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I'm like, okay, so I've seen a bunch of triple shot doors. Where were those? They were around. Uh, the one, the area with the ME that I have to go to at the time of them. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's where the next place I want to go is. Yeah, and in Duck Bass. And Ironically, that. that's the thing that happened to me in Dark Souls, because I was playing it with my friends, and they just rushed through this area. Oh, yeah. And they're like, yeah, well, you need to go back to this bonfire and do this. And I was like, dude, I don't know what any of this shit is. <laughs> yeah. I've just been moving forward where you guys went. Oh, wow. They did that and um, fucking... Uh... Divinity, uh, Divinity 2, Original Sin, like, you picked it up and, like, we were gonna play it. Uh, but, like, they had all already played it before, so they just fucking are, like, speed running all this shit, and I'm like, I wanna talk to this guy, I wanna see what's happening over here. Yeah. Who's this? What's this? How do I fucking I, I, upgrade I, my character? What the fuck is happening? Yeah. This one's a son of a bitch. Yeah, that, that's also a thing, is when I play things like that, like, like, I never took the time to actually learn the game, and uh, like like I got that a lot with the uh, what, what was the game we were playing a lot the roguelike that we play all Streets of Road, not that one, uh, but but that applies to that somewhat too. But um, um the, the Risk, Risk of Rain too, yeah, Risk of Rain too. Like is like people are like, ooh, buffling fungus, you need that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's, what is that? <laughs> And it, and it seems like everyone's got this encyclopedic knowledge of this and... Oh, yeah. And I'm like... It could be overwhelming, yeah. And, uh... I don't know what any of this shit is, and I'm fucking scared! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like No Man's Sky. Yeah, like, yeah. Because, like, there's so much shit to do that, like, if people are, like, 
trying to get you to think. There's like other shit you can do. You just yeah, whatever. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this. When I was <laughs> playing it with you, I was like, I, I I was running into that a lot because because I was like, all right, so I need this to do this. Or like, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta harvest all this. And yeah. I was like, okay, I'm glad you know that. Yeah, but there's yeah, there's some there's some obtuseness at the beginning. It's pretty hard. Yeah. But the um, once you like, I'm yeah. sure when you get the ball rolling. Yeah, once once you get past like the first like story mission, I guess like getting all your ship fixed and all that stuff, it it really opens up and you can kind of do whatever you want at that point. Um, and the nice thing is that like me and everybody else that plays that game are like oil barons now and have like shit tons of like credits. So you yeah. Can, so you can just if you need an object, we probably have it. So if you can't find it yourself, just be like, hey. Do you guys have this? Probably. <laughs> I, you probably have I one. did figure out how to customize my dude and make myself look really cool. Oh yeah, there's some cool shit you can do. So I'm dripping to the nines. I've been playing a bunch of uh, uh fucking what is it? I haven't played Nomis Guy in a while, but I've been playing a lot of uh, uh Fantasy Star 2. Yeah, yeah. That game is very good. I very recommend it because it's free and it plays really fucking good. That looks like one of those Genshin Impact. This one of those Genshin Impact? <laughs> tell you what, that's adorable. <laughs> that's what they call totes adorable. There's... Where I'm from. <laughs> Naruto Uzumaki, you may be from the east, but you have the heart of a tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because it's a terrible dad. Like Naruto's a bad father. Yeah. <laughs> so like you would never really hate Naruto. <laughs> God damn it, if you talk to Boruto like that one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna give you something to talk about. <laughs> something to date by OAT. <laughs> Dot to get your dumb ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he, this guy ain't even speaking English. <laughs> Dante, bye, bitch. That's right, Hank. The Hokage is in on all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what this was spawning from was some uh, some image macro. Someone saying, uh, like. There was a very Texan uh, electric guy, I think. Plumber or electric guy, some utility person. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Who, who was coming into their house. And, ah, fuck you! Fuck! Sometimes it just had to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I save every time I get a chance. <laughs> but like, no, but the the Texan guy comes into the person's house and sees a <laughs> sees a, what was a the Tsunami Miku figurine. Yeah, it was, Miku, it was yeah. like, well, that looks like one of those Genshin Impact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the comment, the response comment is like, you met Hank Hill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one of them Genshin Impact. Is that one of those Genshin Impact? <laughs> Tell your fuck, my son Bobby loves that. Can I take a picture of you with it? <laughs> I remember I had the cable guy in here to fix, like, the internet signal. Because, like, there was, like, a week back in, like, November where I just got no internet at all. And, uh, the guy was, like, super cool and helpful. But he, like, was looking around the house. He's like, yeah, there's Mega Man everywhere. I remember Mega Man. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I got one there. I got a poster at the front door. And, yeah, Mega Man everywhere important, that I can see. Important lore of them building that robot back there. Oh, yeah. That will come up later. Yeah. Because we only sent seven. So Mega Man is okay, but I prefer Meta Ga Man. <laughs> it was based on Mega Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a I'm video really so upset about video games. That like still holds up, like because like people are still fucking. It never good. got better. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. gotten worse. People still like with anything. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter what the context is. Like it's like you can't make it. Like you can't change the gender or race of the character ever. It's yeah. like, okay, sure, <laughs> like... I don't get why the, that matters. I wanna... <laughs> like, put something out, 
with like, I don't know, like any like fucking Wait. straight white male character. Wait and then I just want to kind of cycle through and it's just like, okay. So it's, we, we're gonna, the character will remain. Hold on, hold on. Pat's got a thing. About the Watch game. the bullets when it gets hit by, by that. Yeah, the, the bullets shift, like, recoil backwards, too. Oh. Oh, cool. I never noticed that. Like, the bullets shift a little bit, right? Or am I... No, I think I kind of see that, I think. There's a little bit of a pulse whenever we... Yeah, like... It. Like, it's recoiling, too? Oh. Yeah, it's like a... Or am I... It's like, they must have programmed something weird with that, that maybe that was going to be something else. But I don't think that really comes up in the combat. Okay, sorry, here I am. <laughs> um, <coughs> but I just want to cycle through. Like, we're going to take this character whose first appearance, they're like a straight white male. Like, yeah. all right, we're going to make them gay. Like, wait for the backlash. It's like, okay, we're walking back on that. Yeah, yeah. We're going right. to make them black. Wait for the backlash. Okay, we're going to walk it back on yep, that. Right? Isn't it bullshit? It's like, okay, we're going to make him a woman. Okay, no? You don't like that? We're going to walk that back. All right. Okay, so they're going to be a straight white male. And then just make the character trans and stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> for maximum tears. <laughs> yeah, right? That's. It's like, It's like. I wish they would stop walking it back. It's just like, dude, you just made a decision. Just fucking go with it. Because like, it is, you know what's like, super infuriating about it? Like... If we're gonna like play their stupid little game about like how things have to be the same every fucking time, yeah, it's like the things that get changed are things that have a million reboots. Already. Yeah, yeah, it's like like Scooby Doo. That one pissed me off because I'm like, dude, there's like a thousand reboots of Scooby Doo, mm -hmm. and it's not even it's because Scooby Doo doesn't have like, any good context to it. It just kind of sucks most of the time. Yeah, and you're gonna get real mad that they made any of the characters black or gay. Yeah, even though we've been making that joke forever. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> Why this battle? Who replaced the chip in your head for outrage? <laughs> like, why did they change it to this? I... I kind of have... a little too much going on to get upset about things like that. Oh, absolutely. Well, the, the thing is that, that like, pisses me off is, like, you know, being being a person of the dark skin persuasion, I kind of have to, like, have a little bit of defense on it. Yeah, Because yeah. it's like, people are going to bring it up. And it's like, why don't these fucking whiny white boys just get mad? Why didn't they get mad about Samuel Jackson? Yeah. Nick Fury was a fucking, like, whitest man ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 straight yeah, up. And it's weird, because it's, people are talking like it's new. Like it has, like it's not, like, a thing that's been done. It's like, been done before, and like, people have liked it before. Yeah, it's like, why are you mad now? Is it because you realized you were a fucking Nazi and decided to just go all in on it? Yeah. Like, like is that the only reason it makes sense? So you broke the armor. I think I think that is the thing. It's just like, nope, it's time to time to fight a culture war about this. Yeah, the culture war thing is so fucking yeah. aggravating. That makes me so angry. We cannot figure out where it wants to go. Super KO can attack. Oh. Damn, I should have moved. My bad. Damn. 